Hi there and welcome to day 11 of The Dating Game. My name is Sarah and I have been on six dates uh, over the last two days. Well, actually seven dates. One was a double date, uh, one person, two venues. Because I had this crazy idea about 11 days ago that I was going to find people using online dating apps to go and experience different venues around Melbourne and Geelong and test out the venues as potential places for a great first date. So I got a little bit nerdy and I created a Google form and I met each of my dates at a certain time at a certain venue and we had just a regular date for about 45 minutes to an hour and at the end of the date, uh, I sent them an SMS with the form and we filled it out together. We considered uh, how easy it was to access um, for you know people coming on public transport or people driving and needing to park, people in a wheelchair. Uh, we also considered the ambience um, and how funky and groovy the venue was, uh, the, the volume, how easy it was to have a conversation. I think we also mentioned how much we spent at the venue uh, to get an idea of like an average spend for your first date there and yeah i think that was like it was a pretty simple survey so i'll be putting the reviews of the venues up on my blog um, once i've once i've accumulated a large number of them so i can say like the top five venues in geelong for going on a date So on Sunday, I had very much underestimated the amount of time that a good first date would take. And I had planned my dates to go for an hour each with a 15 minute sort of break in between so I could uh, relocate from one venue to the other. However, during my first date, I realized that it definitely was not enough time to really enjoy the date and enjoy the conversation and really get a sense of the person. And I, I was actually regretting having to leave so early. Yeah, I, I think the future dates will be planned with maybe a little bit of extra time just in case they go really well. On Sunday I had an amazing time. I met five guys who uh, joined me at various venues around Geelong. So the first three Dates were along Packington Street and then I headed into town, into the CBD, Geelong CBD, uh, for the last two dates. Uh, so I rode my push bike in the morning to meet my first date at the river end of Packington Street at a cafe. And uh, when I write the blogs and post them on my website, I'll give you the ultimate review for each of the venues that we visited. Uh, so I, I didn't want to talk too much about them in the video. I just wanted to summarize what my experience, how my experience was. So yeah, the first date uh, went really well. This, this guy had driven all the way from Colac to meet me, which is amazing. Like it's such a long way to come to meet a complete stranger. And we got along really well. We spent a good 45 minutes mostly talking about farming and sustainability. And it was really engaging conversation and we'll definitely be catching up at another time. And unfortunately I had to cut the date short so that I could run on time. So after about 45 minutes of chatting, we filled out my nerdy little survey and then I got on my push bike to ride to the next date. However, I didn't anticipate needing to ride my push bike up, up a massive hill. So I was a little bit late to the second date uh, because I walked my bicycle up the hill. But the guy that I met at the second venue was great understanding and it turns out that he'd actually seen me on Facebook before and we have mutual friends in common and so yeah we had a lot to talk about. He was a really nice guy as well and then after that second date I only had to go like pretty much two, two doors down to a venue where I had lunch meeting my third date. And he was such a gentleman, he poured my water every time the glass was almost empty, which was a nice little act of chivalry, I think that's the right word. And again, the conversation flowed really well, uh, and then I explained to him that uh, the next venue, which I had uh, on my list of places to review, I actually didn't have anyone to go on a date with at that particular cafe, and so I invited him to 
continue with me uh, down the street to the next venue. So we had a double date, uh, two venues, the same person. And again, a really good experience. And then after those three dates, I was utterly exhausted. I rode my push bike home, I had a 20 minute nap, and then I headed back into town for my last two dates for the day. I met the first guy in town and we were supposed to go to one particular venue to uh, do an activity based event, but it just happened to be closed, uh, as many venues are on a Sunday in Geelong. Hence the uh, value of doing this little um, experiment and testing out all the venues around Geelong. So when I finally get the blogs up or the book written or whatever, whatever I'm going to end up doing with all of this data, people will be able to find venues easily that they can go and visit on a Sunday or, you know, after hours instead of incurring the same problem that we did, which was a closed door. Uh, and then the backup plan wasn't really a venue that suited the guy who I was having the date with. So we ended up choosing a, another venue after having a short walk through the town and uh, the place we chose was really good. And again, we talked and yeah, got along really well and we've got plans to go for a bike ride along the river and head to another venue for another date in the future. So I can review that as an activity. And for my last date, we caught up for dinner. Our conversation just flowed really well. We talked a lot about food because uh, he was a chef or is a chef. I couldn't help but hear that the couple sitting beside me must have been uh, listening to our conversation because I could hear talking about how they knew someone who was a chef and it was almost like we were kind of on a double date, but uh, we didn't actually uh, interact with them. And then and then he was also such a gentleman and he, he walked through town with me and, and waited for my, my mum to come and pick me up from town. And yeah, it was uh, such a wonderful day, but I was utterly exhausted by the end of it. So I'm not sure if I'll be planning uh, five to six dates in one day. Uh, oh yes, and yesterday was Monday um, and, I, and I had another date in the evening, um, which is quite um, amusing because in the lead up to the date, he'd, we'd send a couple of messages back and forth about uh, whether he would be reviewed as well and that's not the purpose of this project it's basically just to have some company while I test out the various venues and do the activities just to see how suitable they are for a first date and so I tried to explain to him that I, I'm not reviewing him and I'm you know if he wants feedback on how his date goes then I can do that but that's not really the the purpose of this project and he was saying something about how he, he was going to iron his best bin tang singlet I was kind of in a rush and I was like, oh, maybe I should dress like a bogan too. So I chucked on my black and red checkered jacket and was very proud of my bogan attire and headed out into Geelong. And he was actually dressed up really nice in a nine shirt and I was the one looking very bogan. So yeah, it was just kind of amusing because I'm very gullible and I believe what everyone says. And uh, clearly he was not intending to rock up to the date looking like a bogan, but I did. Anyway, so yeah, it just something fun to do, get out, meet people and don't take life so seriously and giving people a chance, not taking their bios so seriously because that's not really who people are. It's like a tiny little piece of what they share with you and not everyone is the best selfie taker or the best bio writer. But yeah, I would just like to thank all of the guys who met me out on Sunday. It was very brave of you to come come and meet a stranger because I didn't I didn't spend that much time interacting with the guys through the dating apps because this project is about trying not to play the dating game as the dating apps want you to. I'm going to make another video after this one so it'll be like part B and it'll explain to you how I'm using the dating apps, my approach to this project and uh, I guess if there's any guys that have hesitation to meet me out, it might help you to understand the, the angle that I'm coming from. Because yeah, I think had I, had I really been using the dating app how I used to, which was I guess really quite superficially and being quite uh, judgmental, then maybe I would never have met any of these people out because, well, one, I really don't spend that much time logging into apps and I don't like SMSing or texting. I much rather have a conversation out and about. I'd be quite happy to catch up with all of the guys that I met in the last two days uh, for a future date and to review other venues around uh, Geelong. So 
thanks for watching this video and keep an eye on my channel for the next video where I explain exactly how I've been using uh, Tinder and Bumble to meet people and I guess my reasoning behind doing it that way. Okay, cheers!